Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, January the 5th. We're going to talk about Mission Promise Kept today. And I want to introduce you to Elizabeth Herrera. That's right. Yeah, pronounce it the correct way. Herrera. Okay. I, I just can't roll my tongue like <laughs> And it's that. quite all right if you can. Right. But you are here from Stevens College mm -hmm. and uh, you have a program called Mission Promise Kept. What is that? Mission Promise Kept is a proposition from Stevens College to women veterans to find opportunities to have them have their needs met holistically as they transition from being in the military into, into the academic environment. So it's a living and learning community for women veterans. Yeah. And, you know, transferring, uh, transitioning from the military to civilian life is a difficult situation sometimes it certainly is and i can imagine especially for women right and as a woman veteran myself i feel very qualified to speak on that yeah because it is extremely difficult particularly um for women of color i think there are much more barriers and intersections um as we transition from being in the military um <clears throat> into college so wh wh what would you say is the most difficult part of it all i think redefining the way to think about education and learning. And so we have to, in the academic environment, in order to be successful, you have to really be able to tap into your creative mind, to be able to um, not follow a set protocol and tap into creativity and um, problem solving, critical thinking. Not that you don't do those things in the military. Right, but in the military, you were trained to follow Orders. orders. Correct. You're trained to follow orders. Yeah. When you come out of the military, you've got to start thinking on right. your own right. that way. Right. And trust yourself and your judgment and that your judgment is accurate and appropriate. What um, was the biggest uh, hurdle that you had coming from the military adjusting to? That's specifically that, is trusting my own judgment, <clears throat> trusting my own creative process, um, learning how to think for myself without it being prescriptive that critical thinking. I um, I got an undergraduate degree in liberal arts and anthropology, and it was a game changer for me. I, I remember being able to look at um, some theories and analyze some, some theories on human behavior or um, the human condition and actually dig deep and try to find the answers for myself on why maybe certain cultures were behaving a certain way, why... Um, people have behaved historically, and it, it was all based on my interpretation and my judgment. How many women uh, have you assisted with this program? Well, so the, the program is fairly new, so it only started in April, so I only have five women. Oh, so it just... It, it just started. So what is your goal, then? How many are you hoping that you can assist? A hundred million. <laughs> I'm hoping to have at least 25 uh, women in the program. Um the goal is to to have a one of a kind approach to helping women. So I was part of the Student Veteran Association, which is a wonderful association. Um, when I went to Auburn University, but um, I needed a little bit more handholding, and I needed my experiences as a woman veteran to be validated. Um, I didn't always feel safe around men, and. At Stevens, we offer that. We, that's our value proposition is you're in an environment where you're all women. We have designated a, the, fourth, the fourth floor of Columbia Hall to be just for women veterans. So you're building community of other women that are in the same situation. We are providing child care for the women that have uh, not school-aged children yet. Um, we offer them uh, enrollment in the children's school uh, for the, ch the women that have children. So basically they can bring their kids mm -hmm. on campus and live in the apartments with them. So somebody listening to us and they want to be a part of this program, what do they need to do? Honestly, either contact me 
apply online and identify yourself as a veteran and I'm going to be reaching out and I will take it from there. Okay, so how do they contact you? They can yeah, send me an email, eherrera at stevens.edu or they can give me a, a call. Um, the phone number I believe is listed or should be listed here shortly. 573-876-7178. Uh, okay, 573-876-7178. Six eight. Six eight. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Eight <laughs> yes. Uh, five seven three eight seven six seven one six eight. Yes. Call that number now. If you are a uh, a, uh, a veteran, a woman veteran. Yes. Or identify your, you know, are you, are you've transitioned into being a woman? Um, we also accept that. It's anybody who who lives life life in the women, um, in the women experience. Okay. Okay. Um, and right now you have five women there, yeah. but you're, you're hoping that you can get so many more. Unlimited, yes. I want it to be a nationwide model for how we approach uh, services for women veteran that are, one, trauma-informed and gender responsive. Mm -hmm. Our experiences as women in the military, it is a 180 from the experiences of men. Yes, there are similarities. We're all in the military, we're fighting a mission, but the the gender inequality and the challenges that women face um, in the United States, in the world, are amplified in the military. Why did you decide to go into the military? You know, uh, from the many, many reasons why many women decide to join the military. I wanted the experience of serving my country. So I'm a first generation American. My mother just became a US citizen last week. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, I grew up with a, a, a incredible admiration for the United States. It, 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 it got us out of poverty. And so there's always been this admiration for the United States. When the opportunity presented itself, Mind you, I grew up in Puerto Rico. So when the opportunity presented itself as one of the options for me on things that I could do, I jumped at it. And you chose to serve your country. I served to, yes. I'm like, the least I can do at least is pay forward everything that this country has done for my family. And uh, my dad was very encouraging, and so was my mother. Um, but the, when I got into the military, I was so young and so naive, and I was very vulnerable. How, how old were you? I was 18 years old. Okay. But with the emotional maturity of a 12 year old. And the reason for that um, is because I had I grew up in a bubble, in a very Catholic bubble, um, with family that was very protected, protected. a yes. community that loved me. Yes. And, and I, then you go out into the world and it's totally I, different. I wasn't ready for totally that. Totally different. Yeah. Right. I, I, Elizabeth, I appreciate you coming and sharing your experience with us today. And if people want more information, again, to find out more about Promise, a mission promise kept at Stephen College. It's 573-876-7168. Yes, and we have a Facebook, Instagram, and a uh, website. So just type in mission promise kept, and you should be able to be led okay. to our website. Thank you for coming by. Thank you. And uh, continued success with your endeavors, and Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, Okay. Too. Thank you. If, if there's something that you would like to see or hear on here, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me an email. That's pepperp at missouri.edu. Have yourself a nice day. And remember, we're into a new year. Be happy and think positive. Bye-bye.